and welcome back to Detective Grimoire, Chapter 3, Richard Remington's Real Reasons. Let's continue. I think there are five chapters in this game, so we are about half. Okay, let's see. I hope this... I don't know what's in that... I'm gonna stop. I don't care. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I hope the sound is better. I have a new I have a new setup in my new place, so I'm still figuring out the sound and stuff. There are and back. Okay, let's go and see. Let's talk to you. Mm -hmm. Do Do you know anything about Richard Remington? You saw Remington last night, but had you met him before? Did you know him? I've never really spoken with him, but we've come into contact a few times. Vincent likes to handle that kind of work, and I like to let him. What do you think of this place? The tourist attraction, I mean. I can't say I like the idea of a natural area like this becoming commercialized. I know! I just can't understand why anyone would even try. I think Mr. Remington had his reasons. He looked like a man <coughs> with a couple of secrets. Like what? I have no idea. If I knew, they wouldn't be secrets. <laughs> true. <laughs> if I knew, it wouldn't be secrets. True. So true. So, let's ask you then. Do you know anything about him? I suppose you've met with our murder victim, Richard Remington. Yes, I've been in and out of this place for a while now. Naturally, I've crossed paths with Remington a number of times. Good value, that one. A real raconteur, you know. You liked him? So far, I'm getting the impression he wasn't the most popular guy around here. Well, that much is clear, isn't it? The man obviously slipped up somewhere, made an enemy or two, and bam, that's that. You just can't be too careful, can you? Yeah, I think he did have an enemy or two. Or three. But you liked him. I respected him. Good head on his shoulders. Good business sense, that man. He understood how to make things work for him. Okay. I think I will go this way. Figure out where to go. Oh, it's the museum. Is this? I don't think it's a window, but this hatch is shut at the moment. I can't see inside. This side of the museum is surrounded by blue and red flowers. Yes. I don't think it's a window, but this hatch is this. Okay. It's a stepping stone path that goes past the museum and into the woods. So glad I'm wearing my best shoes today. Yeah, that's a good idea to wear your best shoes. See, I think I will turn down the sound. There we go. That's the logo for Boggy Spog. So, I'm guessing this museum is an official part of the tourist attraction. I hope they don't charge an interest fee. Let's see what's the inside that. jammed unless I can get these brass handles out of the way. Seems like I can rotate them around. Just until the gap in the middle is clear. This way, perhaps? Okay, come on. Could you stop? Hello? That top hat guy would have so struggled with this one. Top hat? Sherlock Holmes? Are you talking about Sherlock Holmes? Because he had a top hat. I was talking about Charles Combs because he had a top hat. So I have to readjust stuff. The fo okay, it's a dude sitting and reading. But yeah, I'm so glad you can't hear this car that drives by from the outside. Can someone turn this up? This is a really cramped museum. Just one room? Not worth the admission price. That's... that electrical sound is annoying. Models of Boggy's claws. Hold on. What's this? Something doesn't seem right here. I think I should try arranging these models into pairs. Something seems out of place. Okay. 
I don't think these gloves are part of the exhibit. It looks like someone tried to hide them here. According to historical sketches, the skin would have had a number of spots and patterns similar to what to that of a frog, toad or frog. Example A. Three prominent, 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 prominent sharp claws. Supposedly the primary weapon of the buggy swamp monster. Some early sketches even showed a small thumb. Hmm. Rosenberg had found him among the gloves from a homemade buggy costume. Found hidden among the sculptures in the museum. Does not have any claws, covered in strange liquid slime. Is that a soda thing in here again? Okay, let's see what this let's is. See here. This journal belonged to the explorer, who first discovered Boggy in this swamp 60 years ago. Mm. Hmm. I'd better take a look at this. This journal, huh, it's full of drawings and notes all about Boggy. It seems to be the centerpiece of the entire museum. Yeah, and you shouldn't touch it with your hand, bare hands. That's bad. That's not. They were bah. A journal. Rec a journal recorded 60 years ago by the explorer who first visited visited the swamp. The only record of Buggy existing contains notes and sketches on the appearance of the swamp creature. Buggy is shown with three small claws on each arm. Buggy's feet is always hidden under the water. It seems to be a page ripped from the back. Hmm, nice. Okay. Apparently, this is the exact hat worn by the explorer 60 years ago. Uh, it seems everyone is destined to lose a hat or two in this damn swamp. Yeah. Hmm. Apparently the museum was founded by the explorer many years ago. In a different location. It's only recently been moved here to be part of the truest attraction. That might explain why it looks so out of place. It's a poster from the old Boggy cartoon show. I like to see that show. Another story from Buggy's Bug. In the cartoon, he doesn't have claws. Buggy playing the piano. He's having a grand old time. Buggy, he's having a. Copyright MCM XXXIV. That would be 19. 1930. 1934? It's a poster from the old Buggy. It says another story from Buggy's Bug. But actually, I think this is from the very first episode. Swamp Studios, providing the best in swamp based animated entertainment. It's a poster. For okay, nothing more. This is a really cramped museum. Okay, you talked to Seth. There's a little door in the wall here. I think it leads outside. It's locked, though. Okay, me and good fellow. Oh, wait a minute. Some educational facts about swamps. Did you know swamps are gross? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> well, hello, my so, good fella. Let me guess, you don't work here, do you? I wonder if that makes you the first tourist I've seen today. I am oh, a sorry. tourist. Oops. Was it my stylish trench coat? My sensitive, inquisitive manner? It was the clueless expression on your face. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's the one. Right. That's it. You've done it now. What's your name? I go by Folder. Agent Folder. What are you doing? 
I'm writing bad things about it in my sketch. I'm doing. I'm writing a diary. It's been a long day. My diary has been a long day. <laughs> I'm writing in my diary. It's been a long day. <laughs> okay, can you tell me about last night? So, Mr. Folder. Agent Folder. Yeah, uh, were you here yesterday? What were you doing last night? I was here, in the museum, going through my files one final time before disappearing into the night. Don't museums usually close in the evenings? They do. I've never been one to worry about other people's schedules. I come and go as I please. There's a key to every lock, detective. Oh, so you have the key to the museum? Of course I don't. Why would you think that? Well, I... Once again, that clueless expression. I use a lockpick and get in through the small side door. I have a right to be here, you see. Remington has no business locking me out, so I don't let him. You just admitted to breaking the law. If everyone did that, my job would be a lot easier. Yes. That's my best lockpick. This new one's cheap. I used to own one, a superior model. Unfortunately, I misplaced it in one of the darker corners of the swamp, so I don't... I'm writing down your confession about sneaking around here at night. Then what are you gonna do? Report me to Remington? Good luck, my friend. I need to pick my questions carefully. The lock pick I found near the tree has might belong to Agent Fang the lock Folder. I found near the tree house might belong to Agent Folder. Oh, that's nearly right. Near Echo's protest might belong to Agent Folder. Uh, no, it was to buy the body. The lockpick I found near Remington's body might belong to Agent Folder. As far as I know, Agent Folder is experienced with lockpicks. I wonder if he's hiding something. Hey, about the job. So, if you're not a tourist and you don't work here, I am a scholar, an academic. I'm here to research the past and uncover the future. So, you're visiting the museum for fun. Fun! <laughs> well, there's nothing so simple as fun to be had here. I come to this museum night and day to study its secrets. Ah, what kind of secrets? It's just a museum about Boggy, right? The swamp creature. He's one of the most intriguing modern examples of cryptozoology. A fascinating combination of scientific fact and wild speculation. I'm with you on the speculation front. Although, come to think of it, people have been hinting that I should find out about the history of this creature. A wise suggestion. And you've come to the right person. My knowledge far exceeds anyone else you might have met so far. So, you'll help me? I suppose I could divulge some of my findings with you. If you're in the mood for a little light reading, let me find it for you. Oh, yeah, this'll do. Something for uh, beginners, at least. Hmm, information about Boggy. Collected by the interval. Boggy's won't become protected area after reports of hunting in the area. Boggy's apparent has changed from the original sketch in, in which he has three claws on each arm. The modern cartoon is simply f like arms instead of to make him less threatening. No footprints were recovered on the journal, but some expert believe that the information is out of there somewhere. Okay. Can you tell me about Richard Remington? What can you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? We didn't really have one, and now we definitely don't have one. But look, all I can say is that he was a coward who enjoyed watering down history for his own benefit. What does that mean? It means there are some chapters of this swamp's history that he never wanted anyone to know about. Did he like you sniffing around this museum all the time? I don't think he knew, to be honest. And even if he did, there's nothing he could have done about it. He has no right to this building. He knows that. We both know that. Why not? It was part of his tourist attraction, wasn't it? Hmm. 
No, it wasn't. I found these designs for a boggy costume. Oh, some ridiculous new merchandise for tourists to waste their money on. No, I believe the murderer was dressed like this last night when they attacked Remington. If they were trying to scare him out of the swamp, they should have spent more time making an accurate design. What do you mean? Well, this design is some bizarre hybrid between the real creature and the cartoon character. It simply hasn't been researched properly. What's wrong with it? Well, those flippers? Pure guesswork. Nothing but foolish imagination. Nobody knows what Boggy's feet look like. No footprint has ever been recorded. So tell me, Special Agent Folder, how would you do a better job researching it if nothing has ever been recorded? Oh, well, that's... You know, I mean, it's all a matter of taking the time to... It's just that... But there's no way anyone would believe nothing but foolishness. I have a bone to pick with you. Are you setting yourself up for a joke? Something about a lockpick? Maybe. Who knows? Stop distracting me. I'm trying to interrogate you. My apologies. Go ahead. So, what are we showing Folder now? Where did I find this again? I found a lockpick at the scene of the crime. Oh, apparently you did. Why does this concern me? Do what is it? You already admitted to owning a lockpick, and you said- You already admitted to owning one of these, and how you're ever so happy to come and go as you please with it, am I right? Be honest. Luckily for me, Detective, I was honest with you. I believe I have already explained that second lockpick before you even found it. You lost your lockpick in swamp and I you lost your lockpick in the swamp and had to buy a new one. That's right. I appreciate you finding it for me. However, I won't ask for it back. Apparently, it has since become some diabolical instrument in the art of murder. Yeah, it's an important piece of evidence. Oh. I don't think I'm done talking to him. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's go out. Into the next place. Oh, hello! Oh! Aha! The great detective returns. Did you run out of ideas? Need a little push in the right direction? No need to push me, but the direction would help. No need to push me, but the direction would help. <sighs> like it or not, I'm here to help you. I get it. You give me a map, then you magically disappear and hide behind a tree for an hour. You want me to be impressed? Did you talk to all the suspects yet? I I'm working on it. You can't rush these things, you know. Have you noticed anything unusual? I notice that this is going to take longer than I originally planned, and I'm getting the feeling that I wasn't wrong about this tourist attraction. What do you mean? I had a hard time believing there could be a place like this here in a dark corner of a swamp. It didn't make sense, and it still doesn't. Some things don't make sense straight away. You need to look a little closer. At what? The mud? The water? The trees? <laughs> nope. They've been here for years, and they're not to blame. They belong here. She's gone again. Hiding in the bush, no doubt. I wonder if she'll ever tell me something I can actually understand. Are you dumb? She means there's something... There's something here that doesn't belong here. This staircase is a tree. And this tree is a staircase. And this place is so weird. Yeah. Okay. Not spooky at all. Oh, hello. Someone please tell me why there's a house here. Well, the lights are on. Maybe somebody's home. Hello. The just broken on the store. 
seems I can fix it with those three cogs if I just put them in the right place. Yeah. Once they're on the right pins, I can move the handle at the bottom to try and open the door. Let's fix the door. Just guessed. Okay, hello. There's a whole load of needles and wool on that shelf. Or should I say yarn? I just don't know anymore. Okay, this make you know this makes me think her she looks like a leaf. Her hair looks like a relief. But this makes me think of the movements. If anyone watched that, it's like the same atmosphere. A little blanket on a little bed <laughs> in a little house. It makes very little sense. Well, some people like to live in a treehouse. The owner of this house seems to enjoy reading. Though, I'm not sure what else there is to do up here, actually. If you made a generator? Green light based on some form of generator, and so you could have some electricity, and then you had internet connection? It could be real nice, <laughs> you know. Free comes straight through. Okay, even up. Okay. This is like an oven, or is it just a boiler? Ah, it's so old-fashioned; it hurts my brain. Well, it's a kettle there, a kettle there. So uh, I believe it might be both. Hmm. Hello. You just walked straight into my house, did you? Uh. Sorry, I would have rung the bell. Sorry, I would have rung the bell, but you don't have one. Normally, I have methods for dealing with unwanted attention. But I can make exceptions for harmless idiots. Do you get any attention up here? No. Okay, um, I skipped her. I'm sorry, I skipped the dialogue by accident. I don't think you're going to, are you? Uh, no. Ah, oh, shit. To be shit. honest, I climbed all the way up here, and I just like being indoors. Well, if you insist on staying, I'll tell you. I'm Lady Weybridge, and I think you might be climbing up the wrong trees. I'm Detective Grimoire, and I think I might agree with you. Can you tell me about last night? Your job is to ask me about what happened last night. Do you even know what happened last night? I know more than you might imagine. Oh, that sounds useful. Can you tell me? What were you doing? I was here, in my house, by myself. Mm hmm. Hmm. What else? That's it. Thanks. Just give me a minute to write all this down. What do you do here? Did you work for Richard Remington? I was living here before that man was even born. And oh. I have absolutely nothing to do with him. Or his little tourist attraction. You're exaggerating. How long have you been here? Just in this treehouse? What do you do up here? I've been here longer than anyone. Even longer than... Well, anyone. I, I like numbers. 60 years, something like that. What have you been doing for that Ooh. time? If you don't mind me asking. I have many reasons to be here. But I won't bore you with all the details of my life. I'm sure there's one detail worth writing down. I like to study the plants and flowers in this area. I've learned many things from them. Now, what about this little chemistry set you've got on your table? I wouldn't call it a chemistry set. But, if you bring me an object that has liquid on it, or inside it, I'll tell you what that liquid consists of. Wow, how do you do that? Chemistry. Oh, that's not a page from Raybridge's book. 
a butcher's book, maybe, of preserved flowers. It contains information about all the flowers in the swamp and where they grow. The green and red species only grow around the side doors of the museum and can't be found anywhere else. Hmm. Maybe you can help me. Could you please tell me about... Let's see. First thing we do is put the sample of liquid into the cauldron. Yeah, I like the, the puzzles. And now, we just have to match the color of that liquid with these ingredients. Got it! Oh, color... color chemistry. Now I know what that liquid consists of. I'll write it down in my notes. Let's see. First, then tap the fuck. And now we ch I'm gonna do this to all of them. I would shit. Now I know I'll write it down in my notes. Ah, that looks pretty similar to last time. Let's see. First thing we do, then tap the faucet. And now, we just have to match the color of that liquid with these ingredients. I would assume... ...that, uh... ...all the slime is from the same soda thing? Got it! Now I know what that liquid. I'll write it down and... Hmm, this was the... I'm just gonna go over everyone. Let's see. First, then tap the faucet. And now... Got it! Now I... Oh, what? What's going on? That was definitely the same as the other tests. There's something about that green slime. That. The Weybridge's cauldron is proof that the fireplace poker are covered in the same swamp slime. Uh, that slime keeps showing up in different places. The fireplace poker is proof that the black leggings are covered in the same swamp slime. Ooh, that's... Hmm. Yes, fire poker. The fireplace poker found at the crime scene and the black leggings are covered in the same swamp slime. Sally's leggings. They link her with the crime scene. I'll have to ask her about it. Can you tell me I about this these designs for a boggy costume? Do you know anything about them? You're asking me because you can tell I'm experienced with needlecraft and sew my own clothes? No, but that's a good reason. Let's go with that. Well, these designs look like they should have stayed where they were. In the trash? On paper. Oh. Uh, how come? Whoever drew them didn't really know what they were doing. You would have done it differently? Of course. I am a seamstress. There was a time when I considered sewing my craft. My livelihood. Really? Ah. When Richard Remington arrived in the swamp years ago, I offered him some of my handmade fabric as a peace offering. I don't think he cared much for it. Most likely he threw it away. A pointless gift from some strange woman. You've been here so long, you must have crossed paths with Remington a few times. What did you think of him? That man was a threat to the swamp. We'll be better off without him. Hopefully the curtain will fall on his little tourist attraction as well. Better off? With a killer on the loose now? There have been murderers loose in the swamp before. What are you talking about? In my time here... I've seen the swamp invaded by men, by hunters, several times. 
They're relentless. What were they hunting? Wait, what about Boggy? Is that why no one has seen him in 60 years? They always fell short of their ultimate goal. That just meant they came back again and again, doing more harm each time. But this area is protected by law, right? It is now, but some men have no respect for laws of any kind. They tried to get me to leave my home here. I stood my ground. Obviously. But this whole area is a tourist attraction now. I doubt Remington would have allowed anyone to march into Boggy's Bog with a gun and start hunting down his main attraction. I recognize some of those men. Unfortunately, they've hunted in the swamp before. Before it became a protected area? Before that, yes. And one of them after that. You should ask someone. You know what? About the movie? Show it to someone who. Let's see. First thing, then tap. And now. Got now and I'll write it to the swamp slime. It's all the same. It's the exact same liquid again. You can put. No, thank you. There are samples of flowers that grow in this area. Two of them you don't see very much anymore. And one of them only grows around the museum. Wait, what do you know about this dude? I'm not even sure who that is. Okay. Looks like you don't have anything to talk about. I have nothing more to say to you or ask you about, so yeah. Mm. Can you tell me about Richard? You said you knew Remington? Remington. Well, I knew each other for a long time. I came to work at his tourist attraction in the early days, when he needed help. Well, what kept you here? I know most people wouldn't want to work in a place like this. I actually like it here. So I was happy to oblige. You oh. might like it, but I still don't see why anyone would build a tourist attraction here. Mr. Remington has his reasons. He probably had several. I don't presume to know what they all were. Even though we were friends, he had some secrets, some hobbies, that I was happy to let him keep secret. Secrets? Hobbies? A secret hobby? He was a man with a dream. I can tell you that much. Do you know anything about this? One of Mr. Remington's secrets. I never wanted to know the details, but... These men travel the world, seeking mysterious animals to hunt. They consider myths and legends to be the ultimate prey. Assholes. Let Buggy be alone. Hello. What? Do you know anything about Richard? So what can you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? I didn't have one. I think I spoke to him twice, ever. He usually seemed really busy, but more like preoccupied. Preoccupied? Like he was thinking about something else? Something that wasn't this choice attraction? Who can say? What do old men think about? What? 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 I, are you implying that I know the answer to that? <laughs> What's that a dirty? <laughs> What's that? I don't think that should be. Was that not? <laughs> I don't think. Oh no. The black leggings you found in your bag this morning. They're covered in the same slime that was on the murder weapon. Everything in this swamp is covered in slime. What's your angle, Grimoire? Your black leggings were part of the murderer's costume. Costume? Is that why someone took them out of my bag last night? Well, you know, I don't have proof someone else took them. 
If I had been wearing them when I committed a crime, do you think I would hand them over to a detective the second he shows up? Besides, look at them. What do you notice? They're loose and stretched. They're loose and stretched. That's right, someone else. Someone larger than me has worn these. They're stretched out, especially at the waist. It's pretty obvious. So, let's see. Somebody stole them to use in the body costume, and then put them back in your bag when they were done? If you say so. It's not my job to know all the details. It's my job to sell souvenirs. Do you want a souvenir? Oh, my, yes. Uh, but only if you choose one for me. Hmm. You look like you could use something to wind up. You can take this one. Oh! Fun! Okay. I saw plastic toys so all that thing is Japanese been. Oh, hello. Hey you again. Ready with some cryptic advice, no doubt? Don't let them take him. Who? The, the murderer? That's my job. I got to make sure that no, they... No, the creature. Don't take him away. This place is his home. Oh, oh, Boggy. Uh, hey, don't worry. I didn't really believe he could be uh, responsible for this mess. You, you didn't? Well, no. Mainly because I don't believe he existed at all. Mainly because I didn't believe he existed at all. So, he won't get in trouble? He won't have to leave? Well, he's been out here for, what, 60 years, hasn't he? And stayed out of trouble for that long? I have a feeling some detective isn't going to change all that in one day. Well, in that case, he says... Okay. I didn't expect that outcome. Oh, hello. There's another dude. Stop swamping the swamp. Okay, an activist? Hmm. You've arrived at a bad time, my friend. For once, they don't actually want tourists walking around this place. I always arrive at a bad time. It's what I do. I'm a detective, not a tourist. My apologies. It's just... You have the same wide-eyed expression as the kids that come here. Running around, spending their parents' money, you know. Hmm, well, you know, it's not every day I visit a swamp full of such unique specimens. <laughs> it's no problem. You're just thinking what we all thought when we arrived for the first time. Why didn't they put in the bathroom? No, you're <laughs> thinking, this place is beautiful. What a lucky man I am to be here. I am, am I? Well, if you say so. Edward Everstone, at your service. That's a pretty cool name. Can I call you Ed? You don't need to. Everyone just calls me Echo. Why? Because it gives an elegant uh, sense of purpose? Why? Because you're a good swimmer? Oh, because... Why? Because you'd bounce if I threw you at the wall? Oh. Maybe this one? Why? Because it gives you an elevated sense of purpose? What? No. Because I always come back. Again and again. Until my job is done. Okay. Can you tell me about you last night? every day. Yes, I do. Well, I'm only gonna ask you about one of those days. What were you doing yesterday evening? I was here at my protest spot until fairly late. Then I went to get something to eat at Harper's Cafe before I- Wait, you ate at the cafe here? Doesn't supporting the tourist attraction like that kind of go against your protest? A man has to eat, doesn't he? I don't think the meager contributions of one person are going to keep this place afloat. Especially now. 
And you're sleeping here? Doesn't it get cold at night? Well, I came prepared, of course. I usually find myself with one or two extra layers to wear. Most of this bulk is padding, I promise you. I'm sure it is. So you stayed here the whole night? That's right. And I admit I may have heard some stranger than usual sounds floating around the swamp last night. What kind of sounds? It's impossible to say. This place fills with the most terrifying sounds at night. Hundreds of animals, some tiny, some much larger, awaken and make their own protests. Every night until the sun rises in the morning. Insects make noises at night. Okay, I've written it down. You're protesting, right? I certainly am. And now that you're here, I'm getting you involved. What does that mean? Yeah, I haven't got time to hold up signs for you. I'm sorry. You simply have to hear my message and take it with you. Go ahead. I'm all ears. Plus, I have a little notebook. What was the first thing you felt when you saw the sign for Boggy's Bog looming over you? Well, I thought it was... I thought. Felt. I felt... Well, something seemed wrong. There wouldn't be a tourist attraction in the middle of a swamp like this. There shouldn't be. <laughs> My job is done. Clearly your brain is working perfectly, Detective. So you're against the tourist attraction? Yeah, uh, let's see. You'd rather this area was kept as a natural habitat, right? Right again. And that precise word, habitat. First and foremost, I'm protesting for animal rights. Well, okay, I'm following you, but it's not like they're cutting down trees or anything like that, right? All animals deserve the right to live in peace, and I promise you, on a normal day, this place is far from peaceful. Are you talking about the swamp creature? About Boggy? A creature like that. He's earned the right to be left alone. We're fools to invite ourselves into his home like this on a daily basis, assuming he's not going to mind. Assuming he'll keep to himself and let us walk around with his face on our t-shirts. Well, I agree. I think he should be left alone. But like you said, he can probably handle himself. And if no one has even seen him in 60 years, I don't really see the problem. Unlike you, Detective, I never had an academic calling in life. I was never even a talented artist or musician or anything. So instead, I made the decision to stand up for those who were getting a raw deal. Hmm. What can you tell me about these designs for a costume? A boggy costume? It's boggy! I must admit, I've been a fan of his before I ever came to the swamp. A fan? So you're interested in cryptozoology? Oh, no, I meant, well, Boggy has been in all kinds of cartoons and comic strips. He's one of the greatest characters of the last 100 years. I've got some comics in my tent. You really should see. But he was only discovered 60 years ago. Oh, that's true. <laughs> well, I rounded up. But what about his costume? Have you seen anyone wearing it? I can honestly say I've never seen anyone wearing anything like that. And I'm a very observant person. So what did Mr. Remington think of you? I mean, protesting in the middle of a swamp every day. It wasn't his swamp. If he ever truly thought it was, and he was even more of a fool than he seemed. But he didn't like you hanging around, right? That man was exceptionally skilled at ignoring me. Ignoring anything he didn't like. So, what, he just left you alone? He expected me to get bored and go home. He figured I'd get sick of this place and he'd have it back to himself. But he didn't want it to himself, did he? He wanted lots of people to come visit all the time, surely. Hmm, I'm sure it says that in the brochure. Yes. No thanks, my friend. I'm afraid I have no idea. Show it to some. I wonder what others think of him. Okay. Oh. This like I'm done talking to him. Mm -hmm. This like I'm done talking to him. Okay. Rock sitting in the. If that was a natural. Okay, I need to find someone to talk to about. That's so. I hope they don't. Maybe he could. Mm. 
done talking to him too. Maybe they maybe she this staircase and this place. Someone Dad, no no, I want to go in and talk to her. It's been a long time. You should ask someone else. If you bring me something with you can put that away. This is a 60-year-old journal. It was on display in a museum. I know what it is. I thought you might. I'm supposed to look to the past, right? by the explorer 60 years ago. Lady Weybridge was living yes. in the swamp when the swamp creature was discovered by the explorer 60 years ago. Ah, Lady Weybridge. She was living here when Boggy was first discovered by the explorer. Let's challenge you. I've been looking into the history of this place. Oh, really? Did you find anything? Yeah. You. You must be confused. You found me today, when you barged into my house. Remember? You were living in the swamp when the explorer visited 60 years ago. You were already living in the swamp when the explorer came here 60 years ago. The explorer? That man they talk about in the museum? The one who originally discovered Boggy. You know who I'm talking about. His sketches and notes are the only real evidence we have for this creature. You already have his journal. You learned to read, I assume. What else do you need? I think you wrote something. There's a pitch missing. There's a page missing from the journal. Yes. I think you know where it is. Why on earth would I know something like that? Because you were the only person here when the explorer visited the swamp. I have a suspicion that the swamp creature wasn't the only thing he discovered. You're suggesting he gave me a page from the back of his journal. Or what, that I stole it? If you could see it, I might be able to make up my mind. I really have no idea. If I could see it, I might be able to make up my mind. It doesn't belong in a museum. It belongs here, with me. You understand? What if I promise I'll return it, after I finish clearing up this mess? Then... I'll show it to you. Oh. This is you? He drew you into his journal? It's beautiful. Sixty years ago, yes. He left the page with me. It's we should leave the rest of the world would manage without it. I think there's something on the back. Get, let's guess she's in her 20s. It's says she's 80 years old. Okay. Oh. What's this? Footprints. Last page ripped out of the Explorer's journal, given the to Whitbridge by the Explorer 60 years ago. Feature drawing of Lady Wind as 20 years old, yes. Also features drawing of Buggy's feet and footprint. He has two toes in that front and one at the back. This page proved that the footprint found is was made by the real Buggy. Yeah. Well, I'm done talking to her. You know what? I'm going to go back to the museum. 
and show it to the... That music yeah, which, that's... is it being held up in wood? Hey, this I have... is a real... So... Hi, I have something to show you. Is that the missing page of the journal? I think so. It's an important artifact. It belongs in a museum. Yeah, you're not wearing the right hat to be seen. That. Okay. You had nothing to say. Mm. I'm not talking to him. pretty good view of him from here. Anyone supporting animal rights is okay mm. in my book. His protests used to have a bit more energy, though. He spends more time inside his tent these days. What's he doing in there? I'm happy to say, I don't know. There might be something I can ask Echo about. spends less time holding the protest sign and more time in his tent. I wonder if Echo can tell me what he's been doing that's more important than his protest. Hmm? Hey Echo, hmm. could you tell me? Was just playing Lego game this time. <laughs> okay, could you tell me? I heard you've been spending less time protesting recently and more time, uh, in your tent. Normally I wouldn't pry, but it's my job to ask. I've people have even noticed something like that. I usually get the impression everyone else is doing their best to ignore me. So, you admit it's true? You can put your notebook away. There isn't really any reason for it. Nothing worth writing down, at least. Well, if it's not worth writing down, maybe it's worth hearing. In that case, you'd forget it. How do you know? Maybe it would echo in my mind. <laughs> Pun. Look, if you take a guess and get it right, I promise not to deny it. Let's work out why Echo was hidden away in his tent. Notebook time. Something's You've been in your tent, hiding from Boggy. <laughs> Why not? I think it's time I went to talk to Officer James. Oh, look at that. We have the end of the chapter. Next chapter is uh, chapter four. The beginning of the end. Oh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you liked it, and I hope we'll see you in the next episode of Detective Grimoire. Bye-bye.